Okay, now we're going to add our first rule to our CSS menu, our first rule that's actually going to help define this even better. I'm going to come up and select on the first UL uh, tag that you see right here, and then from there I'm going to come down and select on the new CSS rule here in the lower right. So I'll click on that, and the first thing I want to check is to make sure that we're set to compound uh, based on your selection. That's, that's important. And if you look down here, you can see it's starting to add in the selector name and selector code. Once we've done that, we also verify we're still in our CSS web, our CSS style sheet here. We'll go ahead and hit OK, and then we'll come down here to Box and make sure that our padding is set to zero here, and then we'll come over and make sure that it's set to zero here as well, and then hit OK. And then, as you can tell, the menu is actually switched sides underneath here and kind of stacked itself underneath. So we'll go over here to Live View, and you can see it as well as coming down vertically here. Now again it's being hidden by the splash image here on the body itself. But that's okay. We'll get out of live view and we'll come back here. Now we'll come back and add a second rule. Okay we added our first rule. When you add a rule what it'll do is it'll come back and highlight the source code area over here. That's okay. So let's kind of click up here and get off that. And now what I want to do is to come down and click on the first opening LI tag as you see right here, the list item. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to come down here and create a new CSS rule. And here you can see we got compound selectors selected again. And in the selector name is added container, uh, pound sign, menu, pound sign, menu bar, UL, LI. That's got that first uh, list item selected. Uh, we're still going into our style sheet. That's good. We get OK. Now that we've done that, <clears throat> we want to come down here and want to change the background of our menu to yellow because that's the color scheme that we're selecting on this. So I'll come over here and I'll select uh, this color of yellow here, as you see. And then the next one I'll go to the box and then I want to select on float left. Okay, done that one. And then now on the border uh, tag right here, uh, we want to make sure that, oh wait, we're going to go back to positioning first. We'll come back here to positioning and we want to make sure that we're set to relative. That's, that's very important in our how we build our menu. Okay, now let's go back up here to border. And on the border, I'm going to say this is going to be a solid uh, outline. And I'm going to set it to one pixel. And just so I can see it for right now, because I'm going to come back and change it, I'm going to set it to red. So that kind of shows me the target area that I'm working on as, as I add these lists to my CSS uh, menu that I'm building. Okay, so we've got that added. We're going to edit OK. And uh, what I want to do now is you can see that it's gone out and put a box around that. And if you look really closely between the yellow and the blue, there is a red border that's going around. So let's take a look at that in live view and see how that looks. Ah, you can see it a lot better here. Now what I want to do is you notice uh, these list items here have these bullets on it. We're going to fix that. So we're going to come back here to this and double click over here to the right on that rule we just added. And we're going to come back and we're going to go to the list. And on the list style, we're going to set it to none. Hit OK on that. And as you can see, it's taken off those, um, those bullets that we didn't need. All right, that looks good for now. Check that out in my view here. Yeah, it looks really good. Go ahead and come back and add our next rule. Okay, as you can see from the last video, these are the changes that we actually made to our, our starting of our menu system here. Again, it highlights the rules that we applied to from what you see over here on the right hand side in our CSS styles. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come out here and click on that first LI. I'm just going to click up here and I'll come down and I'll click on this first LI about right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new rule. Click on this. We're going to make sure that our compound selector is, is chosen. Uh, we have, this is the new rule that we're adding. And it's going to be saved again into our, our style sheet. We hit OK. Then we're going to come down here to the type and we're going to select the font family. I'm going to come down and select Trebuchet, uh, MS, Arial, Helvetica, Sans Serif. So that looks pretty good. I'll click on that. And then what I'm going to do is set my font size to 12. Now some people like to set their menus larger. Prefer, for our menu, which will be rather large and complex anyway, I'm dropping ours down to 12. Then on the font color for this particular uh, menu item, I'm going to set it to black. You could set it to navy blue if you like that, but I'm going to just stick with black for right now. 
and then on the text declaration we're going to say none so that way we don't have the blue underline that you see uh, out here to the, the right underneath our, our button items and then we're going to come back over here to block display and we're going to set our display to block let me find that real quick here display to block right here as you see down here on this item right there so we got that selected we're going to come back up on our type back to type real quick and we're going to set our line height to 30 we'll go ahead and key in 30 and that's, that's going to apply to when we go back here to box again to our box width we're going to set it to 100 now you have to remember we set our original menu uh, our menu size to be 1024 by 30 pixels well this is going to create the button that's going to be 100 pixels uh, in size and we'll have plenty enough space to put all our buttons in for our, our menu now we're going to come here and set our text height to 30 and then we're going to go to our uh, block category again and we're going to say uh, text align to center now we're going to go ahead and click on OK and see how that looks. I'll make quite a few changes here as you can tell. It's gone ahead and lined everything up within a 30, within a 100 pixel box. It's put our uh, text items clearly in here. We can see using the Trebuchet font and things are starting to look pretty good. We're going to go ahead and hit it to live view. Again, you can see that red border, which we'll come back and change that later. But this menu is starting to shape up pretty good. Okay, we'll stop here for now. And then on the next video uh, here on YouTube, we're going to come back and add the fourth rule.